and then you bring it up. It's all coming up, CLG. He's left alone. Does Moon Raccoon is getting ready for a hit here, but they're going to be stopped by some dark cover. Chobo yeah, though is going to be the first one falling, and they're already in the site getting ready for a spike plant. Yeah, great space taken. And now they'll have that down here. Comes the Hunter's Fury, though. It could nullify, and it will knock him off the plant for a moment. Still, time to work with, and Diane still in the back site for one. Immediately traded, though. Out by Rise. An animal now in a great spot. CLG, and down a woman, she spots out one, but on the swing, Animal still gets it. Now she has information that at least one is short, and Rise taps the spike, Animal still finding impact. And a third for the Sage, looking for a 4k in the round, and she'll pick it up. Wow, we talked about how much impact Animal had yesterday, but full on execute. Utilizing the running back here as Diana is getting into the site. She spots Naomi, she tries to finish her, she's gonna be successful. And the rest of Moon Raccoon is jumping into the site. Uh, trying to Chobo. exchange some kills, but Shobo with the double, Mimi. Yeah, back site for two. And now Benita, she's adding in as well. It not Han towards long, finds one before the dark cover will cut her off. But a great paint shells is keeping her out of this 10 seconds to work with. And she's going to be relegated into this save to hold on to her weapon for the moment. So now CLG, they're up 5-0. to zero. Yeah, and it's quite impressive how CLG was able to recover from position here is so important. If she goes unchecked, she could go huge. The first frag more presenting. That's two for Benita. But she still wastes so much time. Just 10 seconds to get on the site for the Moon Raccoons. They'll start to flood in, but CLG's already here. They still need this spike down. And Rise takes the plant to the ground. An animal will find the rest. Feels like now at this point they're playing too slow, too passive. The yeah. curve falls up. Diane's trying to fight for this. Benita in close. She can't see a thing. And Diane capitalizes. Finally an opening pick for the Moon Raccoons. And now they'll come on to the site. Another frag onto Animal. Rise is still in the elbow. She's already gotten one. And is looking for more. Trying to spam through the wall. But for one step, the Moon Raccoons have the site. And they have ults to work with in the post plant. But look where Chobo is. Up a flank. She's seen by the turret. So Benita should be ready. Or I'm sorry, that's it. Not Han, rather. But Chobo. Just quicker for two for Chobo. Now, just one player that's two actually for the moon raccoons lori on the site trying to fight a showstopper available flowerful gets one and it's just chobo left what's the elbow in passive the showstopper reveals she's not in the pocket so the time is of the essence taking away with this crossfire she is damaged taking the vulnerability from the alarm bot a tap on the spike chobo holding for this peak it comes long the orb will be grabbed MRB, they don't have to engage quite yet here, but they still can with the Killjoy lockdown. I don't even know how that didn't hit so mm -hmm. close, but it not Han finds it. Now out onto the site, Lori, another entry, and she's up and over the top for another Lori. She's feeling it now, ready to fight, but Chobo, she's always on this flank, always prepared. Good paint shells, she spots out one, but can't connect to Frag, and Benini will find the plant. Animal now dead in the back lines, and again, it's left to Chobo. She couldn't muster last time. This time even harder in the 1v4. Out of the dark cover. Finds the first. A second for Chobo. And she's looking for more. However, Molly on her position. She's forced to fight. Forced out. Eating so much damage. And her position revealed. So tough to work with here. Looking into the back line though. Again, the turret. We'll see it. Panini. When will she look? Will she be ready for Chobo's position? It looks like she suspects it. But when Chobo peaks. The time, just not on her side. Nothing in her favor. Panini ready for it, but turns away. Chobo for three. There just isn't enough time for her to work with. You know, CLG might have lost this, but what a tremendous work from Chobo. She was in a one versus four, able to kill three. The showstopper, and she's running. She wants a pick with this. But now she's trapped in a tough spot. Once we're left, she's not ready for Lori. But Naomi's also pushing. Finds a refrag. Now it's into this four on four. Everyone will disengage for the moment. However, I'd like to think of the Moon Raccoons. They can take that favorably with a one-for-one -one trade. Yeah, I always, when it's a 4v4, I always give it on the attacker's side. It's always a better situation to be in because you know both bomb sides are weaker. There's only two players somewhere. So it's two versus four. And it's exactly what's happening here at A as Moon Raccoon is going to go all in with that flash from diana and she's gaining some space for her team so let's see if this time animal can keep control of you all no she's gonna fall in the end of glory 
Hunter's Fairy Bell. This is a huge factor in this, but it doesn't connect. And now the plant should be able to come down safely. Anita, a little early on that. Rise up in the heavens. This time, there's no flank up, but the frag's good for the first from Naomi. Trade available. They're still trying to fight this. Rise finds Diana. Let's just left onto Benita. You know, she's in the back lines, but a recon dart available. Isolated in the showers, but they can swing off each other's contact. Out comes Benita. A little too wide this time. The Moon Raccoons are up towards B, and they're going quickly again. Diane up, but ready for Animal Chobo. It's rid of one. So again, this is a four on four. But what MRB is doing well is that when they have this vantage, they disengage and they reattack. This time it's towards A, the spike there, and so is one lurker. It's the raise, but Lori will likely join her team soon. See the positioning of one player in short, but Benina's holding the line with the op here. They peek it. It's gonna be tough. She eludes the flash, but the turret eats the shot, and she dies through the box. Lori another on that lurk, and Rise still a factor in short. She drops the spike in the molly. Naomi spraying, but still lives through it. Naomi TPs away. Lori needs this spike, and now she needs a 1v2 clutch. Has the first. Now it's just a 1v1 step. The paint shell's up. Good tap on the spike. She's not ready for it, but she finds the adjustment. Lori, my god. Holding on to hookah control. This might force the disengage, and it will. CLG on the rotate for Jay. But look where Chobo is. A great spot, but how does she not find a frag there? That is a killing blow to CLG as they find themselves in a disadvantage, and I don't think you can even res that position. However, still, flank a factor. Benita on the site. It's one, however, the trade immediately there. Watch Naomi, though. When will she strike on the flank? Now, but Flowerful's alarm bot saves her. To a two-on-two two now. Even odds. Resurrection for CLG. MRB, they're holding tight for the moment. No spike to work with. That's the advantage. The CLG holds. Lockdown in play here. They're slowly sneaking in towards the lamp side. Flowerful left. could have a timing on Rise, especially if she's smoking, but she's actually using the ult here. Either have to fight or push all the way into defender sided spawn. Skillji has to make a decision here. They're looking like they want to fight this. Keep pushing up, but the recon's good. No shots, though. And now it's just Flowerful. They know where she is. She only has 10 seconds. She needs the kills at this point, but can't muster. The double's set up for CLG. Making the play here as Moon Raccoon is all the way up close to the attacker spawn already. Yeah, and they have a great flank coming through on the shower setup. A ton of players. Animal wants to wall herself into the site. And they might, they could even TP here, take it over elsewhere. But yeah. they have great A control for now. So they'll stick it through. Actually, no. A fake on the spike. Now a teleportation. They will commit to it. So now comes Flowerful, trundling her way back over. We see one on the lurk in the teleport. Flowerful, though. She's the one player on this site. And in her situation, she can't really fight here. She's relegated to play retake, but look where Benita is. Directly behind her. On a huge flank. And it'll capitalize. This round has been so chaotic. Where is anyone in this? Benita spots out two, looking for another fight, but they narrowly tuck in behind the wall. Rise ready with a paranoia. And everyone from CLG start to wave, make their way in here. Benita, though, going big, and seems so is CLG. They'll disengage, cut noise for a moment. Benita is just going to be entering here, walking in, trying to tell her team what's up. They're just going to follow, actually. So let's see if they can take back that call. Just going to fall. Nah. Weird situation here for CLG to be in. They just started running. 30 seconds left. Spike not planted. And Spike could go and down right here. And it will. And that's yep. that's it. That's flawless for the Moon Raccoons. That was such a weird yep. round stuff. It was. I'm not quite sorry. There's a dink, but no connection. You're going to be happy if you're animal to stay alive in that one. Still utility getting reined in towards Naomi. She has to use both cages. At least bait getting out, but look where Benita Whoa. is. She found a great timing up close. Diane's still fighting here, and so is Lori for one. So this is another strange one out onto the site. Chobo, good for one. She wants to fight showers, has to get rid of the player that's in here. But look at where Diane is. She's stuck in, and she's taken care of with the showstopper. Now it's a 2v2. Spike on the floor, but the forces of the Moon Raccoons are late on the rotate. CLG... I mean, they could commit here, they could take Telly. They have a lot of left. stuff to work with, but still only 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and it's been a great round for both teams, actually. Everybody's kind of reacting perfectly to each other, but in the end, I have to favor CLG in that retake. If they can keep control of that area where Shobo is, that you yep. all 
But Rise, actually, we're just gonna see the action right away. Yeah, out comes a hit, and it not, Han. She will just find both. What a huge play from the Sova to now the LGR. We're up towards long. That bot will reveal if they push deep into sight, and Flowerful's ready for a swing. No, this one is in Hookah. Heart up elsewhere. Wall off. So Flowerful can't fight. They have an alt for the retake here. And it looks like it's going to be attempted to be used. Spike coming down. There's Fury in play. They can cancel that out, and here it comes. Yeah, Benita trying to cancel that kill Joe lockdown and successfully does so, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she will take care of it. So now this retake has to come in full force. The Moon Raccoons, they have a drone to play off of, and they'll use that to initiate out. They're not pushing. Two players shown. Here comes the swing from Flower Full to pick up two. Now it's just Chobo, and she is very, very late to the party. Stuck on a lurk gone wrong. The Shock Dart will do her. Kind of cost him the round early on. In it there. We see the farm for the ult immediately, but Chobo's pushing in. And again, the player in close, Diane, is ready to hit a great paranoia. Lori swinging out. It's an execution as Moon Raccoons are killing everyone, but Naomi still has a stinger. She's managing some frags. And Panini, she'll sh they might be rotating. They might be second guessing here. Panini, though, ready and close. She hears one. That's Chobo. That's a crucial kill. For the raccoons, now the resurrection into play. Lori in the back sight, recon up, trying to spam through. Benita though, fighting on the site, gets one. That's a Sova, traded out, but she's very, very low here. A little bit of damage could do it, and Lori might just be that. Chobo though, it's a trade out. Run it back on the retake here. And the remainder of MRB getting ready. Here comes the run it back, Panini. In you, Animal, she's the one player on site, and she doesn't really have support, has to go big here, gets one, but the trade's good from Panini. Just Chobo now, in the back line, dark cover to block her, spam is in, Panini's ready, they're holding this, everything keeping her away, and Moon Raccoons, they'll just stick it through, Chobo can't do anything. You know how we talk um, of her lockdown there, but here comes CLG, they're pushing out onto site, this is a lot quicker. A change of pace. They're electing for the retake for now. Animal has the plant coming in. Spam won't connect. So 5v5 on the retake is on the cards here. Diane, she finds that first one onto Chobo. Benita trying to drone through because they know they need a kill. An advantage in this. Now the showstoppers up, up coming into some play. Looking for a shot every second. The favor CLD. The paranoia is up. One in hookah, but the spam so good from Diane. Animal in close in Octagon wants a fight. It's chaos on the site, but Diane is finding every frag needed for CLG. Now there's just a couple left alive on the cards. Rise, good for one, but Diane for four, almost the ace. And half one, two, three, four, five times that CLG Red was not able to close these rounds. So they're just not able to counter. Moon's Raccoon's utility usage and the way they're getting. So why even fight that bomb site? You know, that yeah. that paranoia is not even going to connect on the Firefall. So she's just able to keep that control. But at least this time CLG is trying to switch it up. At least this time they're trying to take more control of the map before yep. retreating into a post-plant situation. Yeah, CLG, they're holding on to elbow control. They know Flowerful has this. The Owl Drone will show this setup. Flowerful, if she dies here, it's huge, but she won't. Now that lockdown can come into play, and CLG only has three members standing. Another frag's in, but it's a trade through. Naomi has to get rid of this, finds one frag, and can lose it now, but it has to just be her. Blinded up by the paranoia. Diane holding down for the moment, and they're looking for the fight. Naomi now swung out, has to take this, has to win this, and she can't. The Moon Raccoons, 13-10 on map one. Into there and sees Naomi cross. She could be ready for this. It's a great tap away from Flowerful to find the entry. Now Benita though on the case. Great refrag. And the overheal too is crucial here. Up to that 150 HP. But as we're talking about heaven, the Moon Raccoons find themselves on site. Mate not Han initiates it. And we have a lurker from Moon Raccoon that's gonna be coming from ropes. The CLG needs to eventually be aware of that but they're just gonna give it up they're trying to break that wall into spawn and this retake is gonna be a difficult one from clg red yeah it sure is diane takes care of her double up in heaven and the frenzies for the moon raccoons doing tons of damage one made their way into elbow the rise is the last standing pushing away up no not the knife please no oh rise still gets it they're going for it though and diane or at least most of it is taking control of middle Oh, there comes the shotguns. Good work up from CLG for the first. Animal's here yeah. ready on top of her stage wall. It'll break soon, but she still has a great line. Ready for the angle. Diane down in the vent is so sneaky, and she almost finds two, but the trade's good up from Naomi. 
Animal's still a factor here, and CLJ, they shouldn't be winning this round, but they find themselves at advantage. Now it's just Panini left. Coming out onto the site, the rotators of CLG all making their way up. Bent double up, trying to spam away. It's five seconds left. They have to make a move and a decision soon, but there's lots of Killjoy stuff seconds. here at B, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of utility. There's not a lot of time. There comes the Killjoy alarm bot triggered. Naomi waiting to swing out. She'll come. Instead, it's Benita from the ramps to find two. The trade's good from Lori. And Naomi's still on the back site. Look at the time. Very little left. They need the spike down. At this point, it's practically a done deal. Lori on the P towards ramp. She'll dash in. Working. No, it wasn't. We need to see some flexibility, but CLG, they're so quick up fast, pushing right blind for one. But the Moon Raccoons are finding the frags they need. Two going their way. Make that three from Flowerful now on the Killjoy. And Lori has her blade. She's running up here. Wants a fight. Looking for it. But Naomi very ready, very prepared for the shot. So CLG have this into a two-on-three, but look where Diane is pushing up, but she's punished. The Moon Raccoons are feeling it. They're getting aggressive, but it's not working. And now this is very losable. Both sides have a lockdown. There comes one, and the counter up. Everyone has to move into these weird angles, and it might just put the raccoons in a tough dig. CLG, they're pushing out. Here's Animal. She will probably get detained here. So this comes down into... Oh, no. There's one from each side. Wait, what's going on? Naomi's coming, and that's it. That is so awkward and unfortunate for Flowerful. Every no, she's not... She hasn't lost confidence in her play, and I really like to see that. Yeah, confidence is really key in this game, and CLG's showing that. Here comes the Sheriff, so it not Hunt actually taking two. Ro Ro. This is into a three-on-three. Three. Animal has the flank up and a resurrection in play, though. Moon Raccoons, they want to go for this. They want to fight and look where their position, flying towards main. Spike not planted perfectly for it. It's still an alright position. Animal trying to fight in so much utility, but on the board. One player in on the site is Panini. Rise up top, ready for the push from main. Panini needs at least one here. Can't find it. Rise up top. Now she drops down for a second. Flowerful's going to heaven to try and shut down the plant, but Animal's holding it. And the op's good from Benita. CLG, they're up four, but remember what happened last time, Steph? Yeah. <laughs> CLG is not safe with three runs ahead. Really not safe. So this is also a little bit scary. Shobo kind of got crushed. And after that, we also had our player in screen falling on the defender side. So good recovery again. It's good that we're able to win these retake on the CLG side. Really helping with the confidence. But Moon Raccoon still probably in a positive mindset here because they're getting the kills they're getting to the sites you know so once they can just find that groove that it took them a little bit to find onto the last game they're going to be able to capitalize on it and here we have our sage oh. and again CLG Red three players push just falling right away at the beginning of the round within a couple of seconds Mimi yeah, I was not prepared for how quickly they'd fall. Tried the aggression, it won't work. Now Naomi has a very big job to do. Still not detected. She could kill the planter here. Finds one, trying to adjust. She'll get it. Still a menace on the site. They're trying to flush her out, but now she has support. Naomi's still finding frags. Has to reload, though. She's so low. Diana on the peak. The one on two now. Rise holds alone, but would they expect her here? I don't know if they're going to check on this. Coming up, trying to get this spike, but up above is Flower LG. They have everything they need. Bonita pushing up. If she dies here, it's huge. It is powerful. Trigger discipline for a moment to wait for the best shot. And she gets it. Now the op is in Diana's hands, and that's a dangerous prospect. Moon Raccoons finding the picks. Chobo trying to push out with the showstopper, but the dash away from Lori is good. She's pushing in, but dies in main. Panini detained, but it might not be a factor. She has support. She has protection, but it falls away. Now comes Rise. Two onto the site. It's doable for her in this clutch, but there's two up above. And kind of the worst case scenario for CLG into this round, and Rise is going to spot the players as she throw a dark cover benita is going to be the first one falling and screen and this is another disastrous round for clg look what Lori is doing here she loves getting aggressive towards heaven and they seem they they know she does this 
They might think the Molly has dissuaded her trouble right on the other side of a dark cover. It's tense. She's bounced back away. Resurrection in the spawn. Another bounce back. Just pushing Lori off her lines. Once up above. Now a double setup in hell. They end for one, but animal on the trade. And it not Han in main. Another frag. Rise jumping down. It's strange and awkward, but she still gets the pick up. What's going on here? No one is hitting these cleanly, but Naomi is. Great headshot onto Panini, and Flowerful's now stuck in the clutch. She has the turret to kill Naomi, and now it's a 1v1. She can peek out, and she can win this. Mar B, I mean, remember early on, Steph, CLG had mid on Mark, and now they seem to lose it every round. And again, Lori gets an entry onto Chobo. Chobo is having a rough map, but Benita's ready. Great jump up to find a pick and pull away. CLG has some ults to work with, but so does MRB, and... MRB, they're looking good. Resurrection in play, but I'm not sure if they'll be able to get it. However, comes it not Han. She gets one back into play. So it's regained into a four-on-four four stuff. I was wondering, have we seen a res coming out of Animal as Rise is getting ready to face three players up in heaven? We're gonna have to pause that question as Naomi is gonna be all left by herself and falling as Lori is just going pushing. for it. She's pushing. Nothing is going to stop her, Mimi. She wants more blood. You can almost feel her teammates just being like, chill out. All right, we're fine. Because yeah. they have the advantage. She'll pull away. But look, here comes a hit out. Diana up top drops down. Rise from the back. Lines looking for something. Still, MRB holds every advantage. A swing out. She's ready for it, though. And Rise picks it up. Oh, it's a two-on-two. Two. MRB, though, the setup, great. They're stacked on top of each other. A dark cover. It is Wade. They have to fight here, though. The dark cover working for them, but through the smoke, they get both. All right. Whatever. I, gu I, I guess they don't have to see anyone, Steph. That's cool. Or six rounds in a row. Lost for CLG. Back-to-back -back in both maps. They're not giving you time to talk. They're just pushing right in. Yep. And here comes Lori. She, uh, she's just doing everything. Just running into things. But Benita, she's making a baller play as well. But it doesn't work out. Panini in with trade. Another frag for her. And Lori's still trying to push everything. He's just getting run down. MR shows call Lori here. She wants to push, wants to fight a dink out, but no kill connected. Flowerful on sight, but she doesn't find the shot. Now CLG have sight in their control. Have advantage. Luna Coons, they're still pushing into heaven here. However, it's CLG to come out on top. Just hitting on Han and Lori. Lori's so low. One shot could do it. Look where there's a player sitting so close in, ready for them if they push. Now a dark cover continuing to stave them off. Nothing really sitting in their favor. Besides maybe the health. Lori here. They, I mean, they want to get in on this, but there's no chances. Now the heal's up. This is the hallmark to go. Look where Rise is a perfect position. She swings off that, finds one, looking for a second. But Lori gets it. And the <laughs> I love I love all the, the French pronunciations. Oh my, I'm doing it too now. It's alright, because now... MRB, they have a really good buy into this. And the way CLG's playing it, pretty slow, pretty passive. Here's it, not Han for one, maybe two. She'll grab that. It's a great advantage early on. Lori has that up. And she wants to get on the case towards B. But remember how good those Moon Raccoon Ray takes are? They're on the mm -hmm. cards again. But impressively, we have a spike plant. But in a way, it kind of feels normal, as you mentioned. They want to go for the retakes, but Cole, Animal! Animal making a play here. That's exactly what you need from CLG. Especially down numbers, but unfortunately, she's going to fall with her utility out. This is happening way too often in Shogo in a one versus three. Can she get the kills? She got two, but it's not going to be enough as two here, Mimi. That could have been a real difficult situation for CLG Red to be put in so early into this round. Yeah, it could be. I love the mid setup out of MRB. Like one player kind of close in, that's Diane. She's getting baited in for, thanks to it, not Han. Over towards the A site, we see a contact play from CLG. Killjoy lurking up the ramp. And opposing Killjoys on either side of this box. Why will Flowerful decide to fight? Probably have contact here. She spots out the arm of Naomi. Can't find the shot though now. She has support in. But Naomi gets the frag a second as well. That's huge for CLG. But the resurrection for it not haunts up. And down goes Rise. Lori late on the rotation. But again, it's an advantageous retake. Resurrection in play. No one directly dead on the site. Bonita. She's in a huge spot here in main. If she dies, this could be it for CLG. She needs a kill here. Gets one. Looking for more. She spots it. This is going to be awkward for her. Hit not Han. Gets it a second on the entry for the Sage Animal. She just has the Sheriff. She can't do anything. 
MRB, they'll find double digits. Moon Raccoons, though. Look at the push from Diana. What a spot to be in. Chobo's just stomping. She's not ready for Lori. And if they go for the refrags, Diana's here and ready. You should run. CLG now, what do they do? They're forced to go A. They have to. There's no they know there's players aggressive, but they still have a lurk. And they're not committing off of this, just trying to sell a fake. But Bonita could die here. She walks into Diana and is somehow prepared for that position. That's massive for CLG. But Lori's still here. Still holding the aggressive line. Jiggle peek up. Lori Ooh. doesn't hit the shot, but she's still on this site with the off. She could shut this Diana. down. Resurrection in. Shot out from Lori. A 4v4 again. Regain the turret peeking out, but Lori holds the line. The smoke off. Here comes the utility. Chobo with a showstopper. Hell player dead. Naomi to find it, but the op of Lori is still finding shots. 3-4 for her! And it not Han chimes in. It's just Rise in a 1v1. She can teleport to the other site, though. She can work off of this. They need this round, and she'll have to do it. Yeah, she's gonna get the spike down with 15 seconds left. She has no idea where Flowerful is gonna come from, but she's still in a really solid position to win this one versus one. I'm excited because this is the best CLG has been looking post plant. Oh, oh but no. Flowerful hitting the headshot right away onto Raj Point. Serious point here. They are, they have their backs against the wall. They have to do something now. You know, and I, I'm actually surprised they got that far into last round but this one time it looks like they're just gonna go straight ip a but there's three moon raccoon players there waiting for them and there's lori and she finds one she has the knives up wants to keep fighting here she wants to peek back in and oh my god lori the one tap with the knives diane still in close jobo up top takes two though this is a chance now for CLG. They find three frags, but look where Diane is. The trigger discipline. She peeks out, gets two. That's a spike on the floor. Chobo, the last standing. Moon Raccoon's last chance. And Diane.